over it. Oh my god! <laughs> oh my god! Oh my god! I didn't even see that, dude! I had not even seen that! I swear to you guys, I had not seen that. I had been skipping through this video. I didn't even know that. Alright, so, a lot of Ian Gary talk. I just got one of the... <laughs> wow, dude. Wow. Uh, some new information uh, dropped by my boy over there uh, that we're going to go through today. I'm going to just show you what I saw, and uh, we're going to talk about that. I'll tell you, first of all, what, why, why were you sitting up here doing this video, Jesse on Fire? Oh, well, what I was going to do is tell everyone exactly why Ian Gary actually got kicked out of Leon Edwards' gym. I'm going to just go, whoop, hey, here's a look behind the curtain, okay? It's in plain sight. All you have to do is understand people and then just go, how would this person behave in this situation? And then how would that affect the people around them? And nah, nah, nah. Like, I'll tell you exactly why he got kicked out. For sure. For sure. And I would challenge Leon Edwards' team to come and say anything, that say that what I said is wrong. Because I'm right, for sure. It's not going to make them look bad or anything. Ian Gary, it might it might illuminate things for Ian Gary where he's like, ah, oh, they're just being insecure. It's like, eh. You're going to have to just kind of listen and then go, yeah, that makes sense. But then in the, in the process of doing research for this video, I stumbled upon uh, this whole like, you know, Ian Gary's, oh, they're saying all this stuff about his wife capturing him and yada, yada. And then he said to, oh, there's a, you know, a fat neck beard on, uh, on YouTube. And I was, oh my God, he's talking about Guru. So I just watched Guru's response video and oh my God. Oh, oh my God. It's the, it's the biggest gotcha I've in, in history. Now, today's going to be a tough lesson for the Ian Gary household, okay? And the lesson is this, which I teach my daughters every day. Anything on the internet is written in permanent marker. You can't make it go away. As soon as it's on the internet, it never goes away. That's why if you're 24, 25 years old and you're a girl and you're like, gosh, these girls are making so much money doing OnlyFans. Maybe if I take a beer bottle and I see if I can stuff it in one of my orifices, I'll make lots of money. It's like, mm, yeah, you think that's a good idea? I do. I mean, like, I could make a million dollars. So I want you to just think about yourself in 10 years when you are, ma well, I mean, assuming you ever get married, you know, uh, to one of your simps, but you're like, oh my God, I want to have children. And then your kids will always be able to find a video of you shoving a beer bottle up your own ass. Does that seem like it's a good idea? Think forward. It's written in permanent marker. There's nothing you can do about it. All right, so what did she do? Let's get right into it. Credit to MMA Guru for digging this up because I'm telling you, I'm telling you in advance, okay? When I set out to do this video in plain English, okay? I was going to review, I was gonna, I went to go look at the video that MMA Guru is watching right now where Ian Gary is responding to the rumors that said that, oh, you know, uh, his wife's taking advantage of him. She's like, you know, she's manipulating him. She's one of these girls that just captured a, you know, captured a young, vibrant, future star athlete. As a matter of fact, let's watch a little bit of that. Dude, if that girl looked at you like that, she would tell you to subscribe to Jesse on Fire and like this video immediately. Subscribe and like. That's what she said. That's not what I'm saying. Look in her eyes. That's what she's saying to do. I'm telling, like, if you if you were, like, at an event and that girl looked at you like that, I want to pause it right on the look, actually. Okay? You're at some event, that girl gives you those eyes, you literally will not be able to stop thinking about her for the next five years. you just be like, God damn. I think I could have had that, dude. I think I could have had that. That girl is a hypnotist. She is a fucking dime. She knows exactly what she's doing. It's a superpower. That's why all of this shit... In all the media where they're like, we need the girls to be superheroes. We need them to be able to kill everyone and like fly around and just hit people with lasers and derp. And derp. You're like, that's not girls superpower. Okay. And I realize we're in combat sports. There are a lot of really tough girls, but the real superpower is their ability to think about like a vampire. You know, like vampires can be like, you want to open the door. And they're like, oh, and they open the door. They also can jump on your neck and shred your throat, right? Like they can both physically destroy you, but they also can just tell you what to do and you'll do it. You want to go to your bank account and empty it and give me all your money and you're all, mm -hmm. So the question is, which superpower would you rather have, okay? I'll take persuasion all day, okay? Because I could just tell the person that can rip my throat out and just be like, you want to go sit on the couch and do your taxes while I go and 
hang out with some other guy right in front of you and it's not going to bother you at all. They're all, oh, do my taxes, do my taxes while you're at it. They're all, all right. All that physical capability doesn't really matter at this point. And so that brings us to the second part of the story, which is I'm going to actually show you me seeing this and learning this for the very first time right now. Have a look. Okay, so we have to do this whole thing out of order, okay? Because in the process of setting up the video to show you what Ian, what, what, what Guru exposed about Ian Gary's wife, I found another part of the video that I had not seen and I recorded myself seeing it for the for the first time and it is a way bigger deal than what I was going to show you. All the pre all the pre stuff that I've said before this was about what I'm about to show you, which is that his wife wrote a book, a book about capturing professional athletes and getting them to marry you. She wrote a book about it, okay? I don't want to take the thunder. Let me let me let me give Guru his his uh his due and proper and uh play this for you and then I'm going to discuss that. Then we're going to get to the big story here. And then if I remember, I'll talk about the gym. She wrote the book. She wrote the book. Okay. How to be a wag is a, that that's a term for a girl who captures and marries a professional athlete. That is what she wrote a fucking book about, dude. Again, you put something on the internet. You can't ever get rid of it, dude. You can't get rid of it. You could, what is this still doing on Kindle? How is this still up? Oh, wait, how is this still up? I can tell you. You cry with him. <laughs> go cry in your ex-husband's arms. Go, go cry with him. Go cry in your ex-husband's arms. He said, I'll go cry with Kurt. She just said, I'll go cry with Curtis then. By the way, if you don't know, because it just gets better and better with the Ian Gary story. Um, her ex-husband lives with them. Okay? Listen to what I'm saying to you right now. Her ex-husband lives with them and works as Ian Gary's nutritionist and has him on a vegan diet. You can't make it up. This is one of the things that I talked about in my video that's definitely struck a nerve with her. And she just mentioned there again. We're going to go back over it. Oh, my God. <laughs> oh, my God. Oh, my God. I didn't even seen that, dude. I had not even seen that. I swear to you guys, I had not seen that. I had been skipping through this video. I didn't even know that. Oh, my God, dude. Oh, my God. Wow, dude. So everything that I had just alluded to is not this. This is not even that, dude. This is not what I was going to talk about. It gets worse. Well, gee, I don't know if it gets worse, actually. Oh, my God, dude. Okay, so I obviously have to keep that clip in because that is for real. Me just finding out that her ex-husband lives with them and is Ian Gary's nutritionist. Okay, so you're going to notice an edit right there because uh, I spoke for the next, uh, I don't know, like, uh, actually, you want to see something. That should be some really excellent members only content. As a matter of fact, that is exactly, I will put that in members only later. Uh, the, the next seven minute rant that I went on uh, when I found out that her ex-husband lives with them and is Ian Gary's, uh, Ian Gary's nutritionist. I'll give you a preview right now. I think one of the lines I said was, hey Ian, while you eat celery, I'm gonna put your wife on the all meat diet. Something like that, you know, like, hey, why don't you, you know, eat this celery and then go off and train. Now, since then, I've done a little bit more research on the situation and I'll take a little bit more, um, I don't know, uh, moderate approach. So the truth of that story is that they were married, they had a kid, they split nine years ago and have remained very close friends because they have a kid together. Now, is that possible? Sure, of course. Is it if you go back and think about all the things that Ian Gary has said about all of these things, like he gave himself the Machado last name so that he can simultaneously like have all of his kids have all the same last name. Uh, you know, like that's, that would be commendable if that's why. If he is having her ex-husband live with them so that her other kid can live with them and be all siblings, one big family, you know, and it's like, all right, you know, just, the, you know, the fact that some guy who's tapped that ass a thousand times lives with us. I mean, I guess that's, you know, that's, it's a, it's a small price to pay. All right. I'm not in a position to judge anyone's living situation, nor would I. I will just say that you have about four options here that I will itemize right now. 
option one is that her and this ex really are just very close friends. They have an incredibly intimate relationship because they have a child together and they've had sex a thousand times, maybe not recently, but you know, he knows her inside and out. He could give you tips on what she likes if you wanted to ask. I'm just saying, might bother me if that, well, shit. I mean, I know what the fuck my wife likes, but I'm just saying like, you know, it's not something I would do. Uh, even if my wife suggests, you know, like I just really, I'd be like, look, 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 look. If you want to have our kids around, that's fine. Okay. There's no fucking way that your ex-husband is living with us. That's just not a thing that's going to happen. Okay. That's just not a thing that's going to happen. I'm sorry. I am not doing that. I'm also not hiring your ex-husband. That's not a thing that's going to happen. No, you know, but if that's what they decided to do, fine. So that's option one is like, it's some amicable, they really are just friends and Ian completely trusts her to hang out with a dude she's had sex with a thousand times all by herself. When Ian Gary's out of town to do whatever that she can't go to, she just lives with her ex-husband. I Maybe, you know, that's option one. Option two is it's like a Kalila and Bobby situation or the Kalila's previous relationships where she had two boyfriends at the same time and it's just all out in the open. It's like, yeah, you know, we're, we're, we're chill. You know, like, yeah, we're both just cool sharing this girl. That's option two. Option three is that she wrote a book about capturing an athlete and the ex-husband's in on it and it's like some big work, you know? It's like some big work. Option four is Ian's fucking both of them. I'm just kidding. I don't even know. I Like my brain, I can't, dude. I <laughs> My first take was way funnier before I looked up the uh, the details on this story. But my goodness gracious, that is so crazy to me, dude. That's so great. The thing is like, okay. So the f because I have a wife and children, when, I, when you factor the kids part into it, it makes me like... Argh. I just want to talk about him being a sucker and getting sucked in. Like, that's way funnier. And that he's probably, you know, when he's away, she's probably fucking the other guy. But, you know, when you factor the kids in, I'm like, all right. Maybe Ian, just family's really important and he's willing to take this very bizarre, you know, make the... <laughs> Bottom line, dude, he's really young. She is really smart and really fucking hot. And, uh, you know... Like I said, dude, the vampire thing. I'm not saying, like, when I say vampire for the record, I am I actually wasn't saying it in a way where I'm like, she's just sucking the blood out of this guy. I was actually saying, like, she just tells you something and you're like, oh. You want to know what the other superpower the girls have is? Okay? A really, an actual, real, powerful woman, okay, who has real influence, okay? Their power is to make a guy do what they want them to do and make the guy believe that it was them who's in control, okay? That's the that's the real power. Make the guy feel like he's running shit, but he just seems to always make the decisions that you wanted him to make. They quietly, you know, they quietly go like this, you know? We live next door to this family when we were in Utah, and this guy, the, they were like really nice. They were like super fucking old school, hyper religious people. And like, the, like one time, John, they were like way older. He came over to my house to drop something off and Gabrielle, I was, I was out doing something and, he, and Gabrielle was fixing our washing machine and like Gabby's super fucking handy. And he, he, every time I saw him for the next month, he could not stop talking about it. He's like, he's all, it's like, man, I, what a, I mean, I just couldn't believe it. She was in, like, she's fixing the washing machine. What an incredible woman. And so I started paying attention and it's like, dude, his wife is like super fucking smart, but like, but just plays it like, you know. Oh, John, you know, like I, whatever. Like she makes him think he's doing everything. It's like, she's the smart one. He thinks he's the smart one. She's the fucking smart one. Anyway, it's not even there. But uh, when I say vampire, that's what I mean. You will let my ex-husband live with us. You will make our family big and happy. Won't you? This look will break a man's fucking brain. My brain is broken just looking at it. Oh my God. That is just like, it's, hyp it's hypnosis. It's hypnosis. Anyway, so that is uh, all I'm going to say on that. And I will probably put the, uh, I'll put the uncensored version out. And I don't necessarily think the things that I said in that video, but I'll put that in members only later. Um, 
So look for that. Now I'm going to tell you guys exactly why Ian Gary keeps getting kicked out of gym. Or you know what? Forget about that. I'll tell you why he got kicked out of Leon Edwards gym. All right. This is not complicated. And I promise you, you're going to know that I'm right as soon as I say it. Here's the deal. What does Ian Gary... Okay, so when I say Ian Gary is going to be a a truly great champion, what am I basing that on? Aside, First of all, he's an incredible fighter, right? But I'm basing that on things he's saying. He says out loud what he's going to do over and over and over. Every interview, every time he talks, he says exactly what he's going to do. I watched a clip of him talking to Damian Maya, and he said he was going... He was telling Damian Maya he's going to take a year off of MMA... And he's going to train just jujitsu, and then he's going to go win the world. He's going to go win ADCC or something like that. He's going to win worlds in just jujitsu. He's telling that to Damien, you know, this is what I'm going to do, Damien. I'm going to take just, and I'm not saying that he couldn't do it. I'm saying he's he says what he's going to do out loud all the fucking time. I am going to do this. I am going to do this. I, 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 I. He is incredibly focused on himself and on what he is going to do and making proclamations about what his plans are, so on, so forth, etc. Right. He has the exact right kind of... Like, I've talked about this a million times. What he did with Neil Magny was fucking reprehensible. I will... Like, that shit was... It was absurd. You made an Amer... I mean, he's not American, but you made an American hero, career military guy look like a domestic violence child beater? Why? Because he's crazy. He's crazy. He needs to create the motivation. He's like fucking Michael Jordan did that. He used to always do that. Make up a reason to hate a guy and then go score 60 points. Okay. Ian Gary, I'm going to be a champion. I'm going to do this. Then I'm going to be, I'm never going to lose the belt. All that, okay? Do you think that when he's in the gym training that he communicates differently than that? Do you think that he, all of a sudden, when he's training, stops talking about what he's going to do? Okay? Of course not. He talks about it all the fucking time. Guaranteed. So he's at Renegade. He's at a training camp where the welterweight champion is and you got this young buck constantly fucking yapping about how he's going to be world champion and how when he wins, he's never going to lose. And like, and the world champion is right there. And they're like, okay, well, Leon Edwards is trying to never lose. You know what I mean? Leon Edwards is trying to never lose. Why on earth would you want the some young up-and-comer constantly barking about how he's coming for the title, coming for the title, coming for the title? And then he's like, and Ian Gary's like, it's just because he's insecure. It's like, no, it's because you're coming in and saying you're going to take what's his every fucking time that you're in the building you won't shut the fuck up about what you're gonna do again i'm not knocking in gary for that i think that things you say out loud end up being real i am going to have the biggest show in the world i'm not talking about mixed martial arts i am going to expand well beyond martial arts and that starts in 2024 and i'm going to have one of the biggest shows in the world i've said it a million times i've always said it i continue to say it it'll happen Ian Gary, I'm going to be a world champion. I am going to win the title. I am never going to lose it. Da, 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 da. I'm not saying he's never going to lose, but you get the point. You say things, you believe them, you do the work, the things happen. But if you're going to be training in the fucking gym of the guy who currently holds the belt that you are trying to beat, or you're trying to get, and you're constantly talking about how you're going to take, yeah, of course, they're going to be like, dude, look, you're a great fighter, fun training partner. Get the fuck out of here, man. Because Ian Gary's story about how he got kicked out of the other gym makes perfect sense. He signed an agreement that he didn't feel that he he, he, had, he felt he had signed under duress. And then they're like, oh, you give us his money. He's like, I'm not giving you money. And they're like, get the fuck out. That makes perfect sense. That's Ian Gary's story about why he got kicked out of the other gym, right? And the Renegade one, let me, I will, you know what I mean? Like, here's what's actually happening at Renegade. He's talking about being the champion constantly. Leon Edwards is the current champion. Leon Edwards is a quiet guy. He's not like a big, you know, yeah, 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 yeah. You can't have it. It's that simple. You can't have it. Can't have a guy saying he's going to take the fucking champion shit every time that he's there. It's simple. Anyway, that's what I got. Love you guys. I will uh, put that uncensored version out at some point. <laughs> Love you guys. Bye-bye.